first thing we'll look at there is obviously ball position. Yeah. You had it way too far back, yeah. okay? That's kind of in the area we want to be trying to get that ball. Just as on your left, it was absolutely fine. Yeah. I think grip pressure is a lot looser. Yeah. Get that grip pressure looser, it takes a tension out of your arms. You can then basically make the move that you want to make. Your yeah. right arm naturally, when you swing through, wants to sort of just fold. If I said hit a tennis ball with a tennis racket, yeah. your right arm will just kind of just fold up and hinge anyway. Yeah. When your left arm is on the club, getting a bit tense and a bit tight, as we sort of went back, back swing wise is fine. Good position there now, but that right shoulder there, you see the pivot, that right shoulder going over the top yeah. this way. That's generally a lot of tension in your right arm coming across the ball now, through impact, left elbow yeah. quite high, pulling away. So that face now is open because your left elbow is pointing back that way towards the wall. Yeah. It's got to come through like this way, so the yeah. face has to be left wide open, okay? So this is obviously the smaller version of the swing. Elbow's nice and level there, good. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And that's kind of the finished position. Well, not the finished position, but the halfway through there. As you continue on through, the club will then just swing around over yeah, your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. But the moment now, that's probably, I put a number at 25%-ish, yeah, I guess. Is, yeah. um, not much power in that at all, but you're getting the club face set there nicely and information given the goal. So you're just swinging around. You're maintaining the width. So from there to there is the same on this side as you're going to go through. Okay. If you suck them in too much... That's no good at all. No, no. Top the ball or toe the ball, okay? But this one here now as you're coming through, all sort of pulling back, weight on your left side, finishing bounce on your back foot. That's basically all your weight on this sort of back foot there, just yeah. creasing in your toe there. Whereas this one now as you sort of swung through it, there's a bit more shift as it looks like you're going to go to target a bit more. And again, just controlling that club face. Yeah, it's just Once you can control that well. club face, whereas this, as you say, or pulling back left, or sort of popping up and just try and please go left, please go left kind of mentality, rather than sort of a square in the cliff face. Yeah. Everyone who sits the ball out to the right there, they try to change the direction the ball goes with their path. Right. And okay. you want to change the club face. The club face is what's hitting the goal and that's dictating whether the ball goes left or right. Yeah, okay. That so don't aim further left. Don't try and hit it further left with the path. Set yourself on the sim here and say, okay, right, green line's my target. I'm gonna say I want to get try and get five in a row at this speed with the club face saying closed yeah. and ball going left. So do you know you were saying open, closed, you was looking on it so if I come a yeah, so um, all you're looking Friday. for is fate. Yeah, you come up here and do stuff. If you're up on Friday, I mean, I'm me and myself, so I can have a look if you wanted to, but just have a look on Friday on the screen. You're looking for CL in face and the number. I mean, 18 is a lot, to be fair, but that's probably more because the Healy strike gave the effect yeah. close. Ideally, 8, 10, 12 degrees close would be fine. Then you can find a middle round. At right, the moment, okay. you're, ma you're most open, and the 58 one wasn't 58 degrees open. It was the face just... The ball deflected off the sides of the ball yeah. sideways, but you were getting some in the region of 10, 12, 15 degrees open. And the more speed you put on it, the further, the further right it goes. Yeah, of course. And then, of course, if it's 15 degrees to the right with a square path, it goes 40 yards right. right. If your path then goes left, because you're only left, 40 yards right with 30 yards left path, that's 70 yards. Now it's a really yeah. big old spinner. Yeah. So when I come up here next, then, so yeah. tip from you then. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. first things first. Ball, ball position definitely the key and grip. That, that, right. That's kind of your the two set of things. Yeah, that's yeah. it. So and if you feel uncomfortable too too close to the ball, step away and start. Yeah, going. that's it. Yeah. Just and then what, so I'm aiming for someone in the region. If I say 10, 10 degrees close. Yeah. Twenty five. Yeah. Twenty five percent power. And yeah. Then at and then you build up. And then and when, yeah. exactly, once you've got that, then you build up to one fifty and then to one seven five and to two hundred or whatever. You being a driver, two. 35, 240, yeah. easily. Yeah, Your size, it. strength and stature, okay, you could do that if the information given to the golf ball was correct. Yes. However, when you're at 235 at the moment, it's 235 in the trees. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay, it's no, a waste no, of time. No. You're, 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 you're then going 235 there and then 30 yards out sideways, so you've covered 235 in two. Yes. You might as well go 165, 170. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. It's the same kind of one less than that, so 120, 115, I think. So, yeah, uh, well, that's it, it's going nowhere because. So, just. I, I take on board what you're saying in terms yeah, of yeah. going down yeah. a hybrid. I would say when iron. you next play, yeah, just next play, go pick a golf club in your bag that you think you can comfortably hit 175 to 200, yeah. depending on the condition. So, down the third on the button, it will run and bounce a bit further. Yeah, it will. Um, up the fifth, it will go to far on the button. Yeah. Um, on the Mac. The second, um, the first, depending on where you land, it might die in the slope. The ninth won't go very far, obviously. No. The eleventh won't go very far, but thirteen will. Yeah. Fourteen won't go very far, eighteen will. So yeah, you just, yeah. it doesn't matter. But as long as you're in a club, it's going around with the one seven five ish. And keep you in play. play. If you played a game of golf today, for example, and we said, okay, right, we're going to walk every single par four and par five, one seven five, we're going to put a ball in the middle of the fence. Right, you play golf in there, John. You would 
break I'd 90. Yeah, I'd be I reckon. Right. At least yeah. break 95. Yeah, 100 You wouldn't be, would be in the 100 unless you have a complete well, like, shock with a pattern. To put it into perspective, the, the best round I've hit mm. on the Mac around mm. here is 93. Yeah. And that was because on that day, I don't know how or why, but the driving, yeah. just, just especially things on the back, together, right, yeah, the yeah. driving, well, they were all going straight. Yeah. Didn't lose the ball, probably. No, I didn't. And, and I what didn't. it is when you shoot a 93 like that, it's not because you've hold a 50-footer or hold a 7-9 or chipped in three times or done something miraculous. It's because you haven't three-putted. You haven't had six lost balls. You haven't hit the ball in the rough. You haven't hit the yeah. ball in the... You just, it's the things you haven't done no. that cost you more shots as opposed to the things that you could have done that would have saved you less. Exactly I mean, right. You're on a 50-foot putt, one shot saved. Yeah. You hit a ball in the trees and lose it. That's two shots lost. Two shots gone. Exactly. So one miraculous shot, which is going to happen very few and very far few between, and far between yeah. saves you less than one bad shot that happens more frequently well, costs you. Well, the way I the way I I vision it in my mind and how I want to go and play is average five a hole. Yeah. Ninety. Yeah. Ninety. Yeah. And that that's what that's the the rule of. So them. your par threes are a pickup hole. Yes. Par fives. Okay, make a six. Yeah. Exactly me. right. So. You know, averaging it out, yeah. fights, that's the thing. On the odd half five, you might be in a seven. Yeah. Doesn't because you've got to anticipate one whole Of course way you, you do, yeah. But and like I say, on the par threes, especially on the Mac, yeah. they're all short. Yeah, seven nines and six yeah, nines. Like the, most the, of them, yeah. The eight side pitch and wedge on. Yeah. The Fours is probably a nine or a wedge. Twelve, yeah, maybe a seven is, or eight nine, depending on the yeah. tees you're on and where the wind is. And yeah, exactly. If the wind's 15, dead, I hit pitch and wedge. Yeah. So that's the thing. Yeah. Pitch and wedge nine iron. Yeah. They're my best friends in the back. Yeah. More loft, less side spin. Yeah, it? exactly right. And I can, I just feel like I, I feel more comfortable. So I feel like my lining up is better, and I can. Exactly. You know, and I can. And do that's it. why I think with that, because so if you say play to five, then you've got much more time. You can then save yourself some shots by getting a thrill of part three, and then yeah. you allow yourself. Well, if I get a seven or maybe an eight, okay, I've got some leeway then because I can make a couple of threes or four. Exactly right, and that's the and, that's and then the play mentality. to five. You've got ninety. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think on a. On a 440 yard par four. If you're playing to make a five, if you're putting two, you're two putting, you're putting well. Then just hit three shots, 140 each. Yeah, 140, well, this 140, is 140, it. 140. Could do it. So 175 the first one gives you 35 yards in credit. Then yeah. you can go sort of 150 with the next one maybe. And I've got 80 yards to go. Well, this is it. And I look at it on the first drive, I'm saying on the mass. Yeah. Even if I put it at the bottom of the hill, yeah. I know where I'm aiming. Yeah. And over I, that purple tree. Right the right of the tree. Yeah. Over I that purple. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. And even if you did knock on that green in four. Two putt for six. And on the second shot, racket. if it's driving like this, you'll get a lot more run oh, on the exactly, second shot. Yeah, so the yeah, first shot, yeah. in reality... It doesn't really matter, yeah. As, really as long as you're not blocked out by the big twos on the left hand side, yeah. this tee shot on the first is kind of go anywhere, really. Yeah, that's, and this is um, my point. And then get in play, yeah. So I'd rather keep and, and see him on the others. But, no, but I think I'd work with that driver to start with until you start building yeah, up there. If, you, if you're down off, I'll have a quick look on Friday if you want to. Yeah, I'll see how you get on stuff, and then we'll... Yeah, because I can't play tomorrow. That's fine. No, no, Friday, I can't. So I'm going to book in Friday night... So I'm just gonna do what you said. Yeah. Just, just work on some shots. Yeah, exactly. And if you feel like 25% you're doing it, then okay, build up to 50. Yeah, and then you, you set your own parameters. I think okay, as long as I get that ball left to the green line, keep going faster, faster, faster. Yeah. So then, what would you suggest then? So if I do that, mm. 8%, 8, 10, 8, 10% close. 8, 10 degrees close. Yeah. 10 degrees looking close. For. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then 100 yards, 25%. Yeah. That's in reality. That's yeah, yeah. Where yeah. I, I should that's be. where you're at now, maybe. Yes. And then fifth. 50, if you can go to say 50 percent ish or 40 whatever the number would be it's hard to put a number exact on it but around like the 150 mark yeah. still the same number closed left if we can do with the club face yeah. up to 150 as long as you're ending up worst case scenario if you're hitting a number now where you're making a fuller swing as long as it stays in between the two blue signs that's on the fairway yeah that's so when it starts going a little it's like if you get to say 175 200 and they just do like a five yard fade you're kind of there, that's fine. Because yeah. that's acceptable. Yeah. It's when it starts going and missing the fairway. That's yeah. when you get on too fast. Yeah, I'm, going, yeah, okay. I'm going beyond my threshold. Yeah, that's it. So okay. like, that's the thing. I'd like to put a number to it. So if yeah, I know yeah. now, yeah. straight away, yeah, 25. Yeah. Just, just look for the number that is, has that ball gone left of that green line and, and stayed left of what it. What it also is for me is, is commitment to putting the practice in. And that is a big yeah, yeah. issue for Massively. me. Massively. Massively, yeah, yeah. Because like at the moment, I haven't played, like I played Sunday, which is the first time in like, Four weeks. Yeah, yeah. Only because of work and yeah, all yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. But it's coming up here and using it. So it's yeah, yeah. Well, if you remember now, aren't you? So it's free yeah, to use it. Yeah, and that's no what brainer. I need to do. I need to be yeah, yeah. more strategic. Exactly. But knowing that's knowing what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So Good I'm stuff, fine. mate. Right, well mate.